Welcome to the Comic Book Lounge. Today's video is going to be on Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time series. It's a 14 book series plus an additional prequel standalone story, which is The New Spring. And there's also a Wheel of Time companion book for the people, places, and history of the series. You can see it's almost kind of like a dictionary. It has different terms and its descriptions, some maps here. So the Wheel of Time isn't a mainstream name like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones, but it is actually one of the most popular series in the fantasy genre. It has over 90 million copies sold, and an Amazon TV show is now in the works to adapt this series. So here's the reading order. I have books 1 to 7 here on the top row, and books 8 to 14 here on the bottom. So we'll start up top. Book 1, The Eye of the World. Book 2, The Great Hunt. Book 3, The Dragon Reborn. Book 4, The Shadow Rising. Book 5, The Fires of Heaven. Book 6, Lord of Chaos. Book 7, A Crown of Swords. Book 8, The Path of Daggers. Book 9, Winter's Heart. Book 10, Crossroads of Twilight. Book 11, Knife of Dreams. And this is where all the books written by Robert Jordan end because he sadly passed away. But Brandon Sanderson took up the mantle and finished the last three books. So starting with book 12, The Gathering Storm, is Brandon Sanderson with also extensive notes from Robert Jordan. Uh, book 13, The Towers of Midnight. And book 14, A Memory of Light. For As for New Spring, which is essentially the beginning of Wheel of Time, it's recommended to put it in different areas. So you can, some people say to read it after book five, The Fires of Heaven, but most people recommend it after book 10, Crossroads of Twilight, or after book 11, Knife of Dreams. But you can always just read it at the end of the series as well. And obviously the same goes for the Wheel of Time Companion to read it after the end of the series. So that's it for today's video on Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time series. Thanks for watching.